Hello everyone! Welcome back to another banner reaction. I'm DTM as always, and we have with us the second Summer's Heroes banner. And we did get a peek at the silhouettes, and it looks like Oblivion's going to even have to sell his box because, oh boy, that's looking like Summer Petra in one of the silhouettes. Um, I did say it was going to happen. <laughs> IS is like definitely out to get him. Um, but I'll be curious to see uh, what other units we have. So we might be having three houses. According to the uh, the uh, resonance schedule, it looks like the lead harmonic will be engaged. So three houses engaged banner, perhaps. We'll see. Um, but yeah, let us begin. As always, if you like the content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, all the jazz to help support our channel. Only takes five seconds to subscribe to this up the channel a lot. I really appreciate all the content support. And yeah, let us begin. Okay, yeah, we have the standard uh, um, casual, I guess, summer <laughs> music. I, I can barely hear this on my speaker, actually, recording. Oh, oh my gosh! Uh, summer female Alir, all right. <laughs> Colorless dragon her. infantry with the Sami ball. Oh my, oh my gosh, that's actually so amazing. And it's with a veil, too. Okay. Bond blast. Ooh, we have a new status effect, apparently, with bonded. And we have even res wave. Uh, apparently just for dragons, though. Form forms connections with allies and engage blast. I will say, I absolutely love that the... Uh, I have the power of God and anime on my side pose is like her thing now since her legendary. And yes, there's the Petra. Um, so yeah, as I expected, three houses engage. And it seems like Petra is going to have like the R Tana and Ninja I Green effect. And she comes with Crux. No A skill though, so that's uh that's interesting. I guess you just run like Flared Sparrow or something like that. Um probably not Flared Sparrow anymore, probably like Get to swimming. a different one. Is that Nemo? I think I saw Nemo there. <laughs> Still not Sorry, every clownfish is now Nemo in my eyes from my childhood. <laughs> And we get some Canto 1 afterwards. Another Source of Desperation 4 is pretty nice, though. I think that's the Can other person in the silhouettes. But we have Clan. Uh, Where's in. Fram? I guess. Okay. But yeah, we have Clan as the Dino. Maybe Fram is the... Uh... Actually, it might be Fram, honestly, as the Tempest Trial unit. Are we going to get like a... Okay, what's our harmonic though? It's engage lead. I know that. It's gold Mary. Of course it's gold Mary. <laughs> with birds, that is an interesting combo though. But yeah, we have gold Mary. So we finally have gold Mary in the game with godlike reflexes. And another source of Lagoo's friend 4. Okay, so we have another source of Lagoo's friend 4 already. With even attack wave N. I don't know what N stands for. What does N stand for? <laughs> I'm so confused. I guess. So yeah, we have have enough. That did zero damage. <laughs> uh, and the harmonized skills and bulwark. Okay, so we have a. I, th that's not anti warping. Um, that's just like obstruct. Um. That could actually come in handy-ish in Summer's Duels, but it's kind of, again, as like a um, harmonic skill, that's not reliable. But I mean, I guess it is a button that you can use. <laughs> All yours. I mean, I did expect Gold Mary to get here eventually, so like I, <laughs> I expected that. I'm surprised we got a summer earlier. That's a swimsuit outfit. It actually looks really, really good. Same with the gold Marys. And Petra. Honestly, all the swimsuit outfits look really good. Okay, there is a Fram. Fram is going to be our Tempest Trials. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. This is basically an engaged banner with, like, Petra. <laughs> and I guess Bernie's there, too. Um, but yeah. Very, very, very cool. Again, Oblivion's going to be dying with these orbs. Petrol is not the Tempest Trial unit, so you're going to have to bust out the wallet there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let us uh, take a look, closer look at these skills. 
I'm a bit sad we did not get any like uh, a Lear and Veil vale duo though. I would have really, really loved that, especially for Halloween. I got but this swimsuit from the boutique. It just it's all right. I love the Sami outfit, and again, I think the design and art of this is actually super good. I really like it. Um, all right, maritime arts. Let's see what these skills are. We have slaying unit attacks twice. Um, even on enemy phase, and then we have the dragon adaptive damage in the beginning. That's interesting. Normally it's at the end. Okay. Um, I actually like it in the beginning because it just gets all those standard effects out of the way first. All right. If unit is within three spaces of an ally, grants all stats plus five to unit, inflicts penalty on foes, all stats equals number of distinct game titles among allies within three spaces of unit times three plus four max ten. So that's a. Uh, but if you can max this out. Which you need, uh, basically you need two distinct titles within three spaces. Um, to max that out, you'll get all stats minus 10 infliction on the foe. Unit deals X damage, um, excluding AoEs, reduces damage from foe's first attack by X. And then X equals five times the total number of distinct game titles among allies, excluding unit and the number of engaged allies. Ex Excluding unit, max 15. So you just need three for this. Um, and then first, and then this damage reduction also includes braves and the true damage. So basically you get like 15 true damage or 15 um, flat damage reduction um, for both brave hits if you can max this out. And again, you need like three distinct titles basically. And neutralize effects that inflict special cooldown on charge minus X on unit during combat. And then we give a null guard, which is really good for proccing the special, which I think she's probably going to be doing with Bond Blast. All right, so what is Bond Blast? Boost special damage by 50% of unit speed when special triggers. All right, that's the standard damaging portion. At start of turn, if unit is not on a team, if unit is not on a team with unit support partner, grants bonded to allies with the highest attack within two spaces. Okay. If unit is on a team with their support partner, or if an ally has an active bonded effect for unit, support partner, and any allies with an active bonded effect, when special triggers, neutralizes foes, reduces damage by X percent effects from foes, non-special... Oh, so this is just like legendary, basically. Um, if you have a support partner... Okay, if unit is within three spaces of a support partner or an ally with an active bonded effect and unit and foe special is ready or triggered before during this combat reduces damage from foe's next attack by 40%. And that is non-pierceable. Um, so that is uh, similar to like the armor skills, like armor blazer, armor beacon. And then bonded grants a status that can trigger certain skill effects. Two unit for one. Okay, so basically, bonded is just a marker status effect. It literally doesn't do anything. <laughs> it's just there to say, hey, I'm bonded. And so if you have an effect that works with bonded, um, you can trigger those effects. It doesn't do anything by itself, which I think is actually super funny how it works that way. Like, it literally doesn't do anything um, unless, like, you have skills that make use of that. Um, but... I mean, I guess, theoretically, that is another status effect for Kron to steal, which is interesting. <laughs> um, okay. I assume that, like, we're going to get more sources of Bonded in the future, and then you can, like, stack those, and then stack the sort of effects that can work with Bonded. Um, that is actually a really, really interesting um, scenario, actually. Um, obviously, Alir being the first one is kind of limited right now. Um, because the thing is, is that, like, basically you still only have the legendary Alir right now, right? If you have your support partner, um, uh, you will grant both yourself and the support partner um, the damage reduction piercing. If you don't have a support partner, then you grant bonded to... Um, to, ally, to allies with the highest attack within two spaces for yourself. But, like, the... And, like, that bonded will allow you to get the damage reduction 
like the forty percent damage reduction, but it won't give you the uh, um, the damage reduction piercing that it has. So you're still getting something if you don't have a support partner. Um, it's interesting though because like if you do have a support partner, you're not spreading the bonded effect, and so it's only you and your support partner that's getting the damage reduction. But because but because it's but in exchange, like you're also getting damage reduction piercing. If you don't have a support partner, then you're bonded uh, to like the then you like spread that bonded status, and then you give them um, the uh, uh, the uh, the damage reduction piercing. I think. Actually, never mind. Uh, the second, the damage reduction, the forty percent damage reduction is only to herself. So scratch that. You, you're not getting it. So basically, right now, you, huh? This is interesting because as it works right now, if you have a support partner, you get damage reduction piercing. If you don't have a support partner, um, you get uh, you get like the um. I mean, I guess, I guess for the unit, for her herself, she gets both either way. Uh, it's just like, again, okay, actually, no, <laughs> sorry. I, I've been, I've been, I've been like trying to dissect this too hard. Um, no matter what, like her, both her damage reduction and damage reduction piercing both works for herself if she has a support partner or with a bonded ally. Um, it's just only with a support partner where you get the damage reduction piercing for the ally. Right now, um, the bonded status is just there and isn't really doing anything um, because uh, because like if she's supported, she's not spreading out the bonded status. And therefore... Like, if you do have a support part, but you, like, it's, okay, it's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess it works either way. I think I'm, I think I'm overcomplicating this, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, because, okay. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, I, I was getting ahead of myself. <laughs> okay, basically... Um, if you do not have a support partner, uh, you spread the bond status and those with the bond status will have the damage reduction piercing. Um, if you just have the support partner, then only the support partner gets the damage reduction piercing. Um, and the bonded status spreads when, with the highest attack within two spaces of yourself. So you probably want to attack match. Uh, this actually works really well with legendary Elliwood now that I think about it. And then she herself is the only one that gets the damage reduction. Okay, that took a while, but I think I got it. <laughs> I mean, it's interesting. I, I, I presume that there's like... I mean, that's basically like an upgrade version of Legendary Female Allure. Um, but like, I guess modernized, I guess, in a sort of way. Presumably, like, this is trying to work with other, like, weapons and skills that take advantage of Bonded later. Um, this is just the first one. So that's interesting. It's a very interesting design, actually. I really want to see what they do with that. Okay. We also have even wave D, even res wave D, uh, grants plus res to unit and allies within spaces of one turn. If units res are greater than equal to foes, res plus five, and units, foes attack can trigger foes special, inflicts special cooldown account plus one on foe before foes first attack during combat. Okay, so we get scowl, basically. And then if it's an even number turn, grants res plus 16 unit during combat. Okay, so presumably the D stands for dragon. And so, yeah, <laughs> you just get scowl effectively on your C skill, which is kind of insane now that I think about it. <laughs> Summer, engage. Oh my goodness. I love this Alir, actually. It's so cool. I want to see what other bond, uh, like skills or weapons that take advantage of bonded, because right now bonded is literally just a marker skill, right? It's a marker trait. All right, we know what crux is, so we don't have to go over that. Uh, what does breaker bow do? 
Accelerate special trigger effective against beasts in flying, enables Kanto 1. Unit can move to a space within two spaces of any eyes. That's what we saw. At Star Combat, if unit's HP is greater than or equal to 25%, neutralizes foe's bonus to speed defense. So we got low, dull speed defense. Grants all stats plus 5. Grants attack speed plus X times 6 to unit during combat. X being the number of allies with attack greater than or equal to 55 within three rows or three columns centered on unit, plus the number of allies with speed okay so basically you want to like be on a team with high attacking and high speedy units basically in order to get more attack and speed on her and also if units attack and trigger unit special grant special cooldown count minus a to unit before units first attack and grant special cooldown count minus b to units before units first follow-up attack during combat a being x plus one max equals the unit special cooldown count value at start combat makes sense and then B equals X plus one minus unit special cooldown count value at the start of turn, minimum zero. Okay, so basically, um, basically, uh, I mean, this is a, just a version of special jump. And so I guess the idea is that you want to like, always be able to proc your specials. Um, with Deadeye, this becomes two. And so, like, um, say, if, say, like, you only have one, um, at the start of turn, it will be at two. This special jump will go, so you'll get the Deadeye. On the follow-up, um, on the follow-up, uh, you don't get anything, actually. <laughs> um, if you only have one, um, but if you have three, then like, if you have three allies um, within three rows or three columns that meet those conditions, then you, then like this cooldown goes, this special jump goes to four, max is two, so like you get the dead eye there. And then on the follow-up turn, you have four as X, so that's plus one, five minus special cooldown, that's minus two, so three. Um, so you get like, again, the dead eye again. So basically the, you want as many high attacking and high speed units as you can in order to constantly proc the dead eye, basically. That's how it works. That seems pretty cool. Yeah, dead eye twice on her foes. They, they showed that there. And so we can probably see it here. Get to swimming. We got the one. And then with the Desperation 4, you can pre-charge, you can charge that easily. And so, yeah. And that obviously also combines well with the Crux. Get through any, like, denying follow-up attacks. Uh, the flavor might be off, I guess. Double Special Suit is pretty cool, actually. Alright, what does Small Spade Plus do? At Star Comet, if unit's HP is, uh, greater than or equal to 20%, grants... Attack speed plus 5 to unit. Grants attack speed plus 5. X times 5 to unit. X being the number of allies. Okay, so same conditions as always. You want to be with high attacking high speed units. Um, and grants special cooldown charge plus 1 to unit per attack during combat. And we have special acceleration. That's a pretty cool weapon. Um, that's just a lot of attack and speed. I sort of like that as an inheritable. Like, we do have the arcane... We have two arcane daggers, I believe. Um... <laughs> I think, I think people will probably appreciate that. There are some units that will. And then we have Gold Mary here. Charisma might be drawing too much attention. What is with her? <laughs> that is so funny, actually. Um, actually, what was her uh, movement type? Infantry. Charisma. Okay, so infantry lance. So we have uh, basically two omni tanks and two range units, basically. So we have Diva Pair Parasol. Excellent special trigger for foes within three rows or three columns centered on units. If foes defense is less than or equal to units defense plus five, inflicts penalty on foes attack speed equals to 50% of uh, foes attack at start of combat and neutralizes foes bonus to attack speed during combat. Um, so basically if you have higher defense, they get a penalty on attack speed basically. Um, at Star Combat, if unit's HP is greater than to 20%, grants bonus to unit's all stats equals to the number of allies within three spaces of units times 3 plus 5 max 14. Unit deals damage equals to 50% of unit's attack uh, and inflicts special cooldown charge minus 1 on foe per attack during combat and restores 7 HP to unit after combat. Hmm. Okay, so I do like the Daunt effects. Like, 
Um, 50% of foes attack um, as a penalty um, is pretty it's pretty decent. Like you definitely want to like get daunt effects. Um, I believe this is at star of combat. So it's just visible. Um, right. The check it should be. Yeah. At star of combat. So like this doesn't synergize as well with things like sabotage and a lot of the debuffs. Um, but I guess with like Micaiah and Freyr in existence, like that doesn't really matter that much anymore. Um, but just something to keep in mind, I guess. Um, you do get a, quite a bit of stat buffs, and you do have Guard, which is really nice. Uh, she's looking to be very high on attack and speed, and she does come with Godlight Reflexes and the Goose Friend 4, which is definitely very, really strong. Uh, I want to see what attack, even Attack Wave End does. At start of turn, grant attack plus 60 unit, and okay, yeah, we need that. If unit's attack is greater than or equal to foe's attack plus 5, unit deals plus 5 damage during combat. Um, and also when unit deals damage to foes during attack, restores 5 HP to unit. Okay. What does N mean? Does N just mean like normal, like infantry? <laughs> or, maybe it's just, it, or maybe it means like near. Maybe that's what it means. I guess we'll have to see the inherent restrictions on that. Um, but yeah. I'm not gonna lie, uh, I don't know how good this is, to be perfectly honest. Um, like, when you compare this to, like, Ike or Legendary Male Allure, who are, like, the top two Omni tanks right now, um, they have a lot. Like, obviously, Legendary Male Allure has the Miracle. Ike just has a lot of uh, Unpierceable DR with Grand Ether and all that sort of stuff. Um, so it remains to be seen. I think we will need to test this in game. I do think she will be a de pretty decent army tank, but um, I'm not too sure, honestly. Like, cause like it's hard to tell, cause like Lagoo's friend four makes any army tank look pretty decent, right? Um, so I think we will have to wait to see how this does in practice. Um, I do think she will be pretty serviceable, though, at the very least. And like, she yeah. And they do have come with a harmonized skill, but ideally you don't want Bulwark to have to like be manually triggered. But I think I guess like it can help on like turn two when it comes to like summoners duels. Um, after you set up just to like play it out, because by turn two is like probably one of the more important turns, and so yeah. Bonus doubler though is a very good uh, effect, so that's pretty nice. Let's show Okay, yeah, that's just like... Uh, and yeah, Lagoo's friend makes Gala reflexes. Trigger. I want to see this, actually. All yours. Okay. And she does get a lot of healing, though. Hmm... And then, yeah, we have Fram as the Tempest Trial. You Wait, no, it's not Fram. That's a uh, clan. Uh, to do. Sorry, I mistake. I, I, okay. <laughs> That's to do. I don't know why I didn't recognize to do over there. I was like, wait, where's like clan? Okay. My apologies, Fram clan. <laughs> but yeah, we have to do as the Tempest Trial unit. My bad. My bad. Um, so that's pretty cool, actually. I, I'm excited to see what the art would be for that. Um, Honestly, all the art here looks pretty amazing. Like, I think they all did a really good job. Um, honestly, for me, the most interesting, not necessarily the most good, but the most interesting unit of the batch definitely has to be, like, Summer Female Allure, because that bonded uh, status seems to imply that there will be future skills that work with that, which is really, really interesting. Now... How that will actually work in practice remains to be seen. Who knows? Maybe, like, again, IS will just drop the ball on that. Um, but it is interesting, and I'm interested to see what happens with that. Um, Petra is looking to be a pretty cool nuke. Uh, Gold Mary is looking to be a pretty cool Omni tank. Again, um, I'm a bit unsure about how these 
units will do in practice, we'll need to uh, get them in the game as it is really hard to make judgments about units, um, especially in a mode like Summer's Duels, especially with SDR coming up. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> um, I don't want to make any too much judgments right now. Um, I do think they'll be like, I don't know, usable at least. Um, and again, I'm really curious to see what they do with Bonded in the future. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for the banner. Hope you all enjoyed this. And if you did, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that jazz tales for channel. Let me know down in the comments whether or not you're going to be summoning and what your thoughts are on the banner are. And yeah, uh, hope you all have an amazing rest of the day. And see you all next time. Bye, everyone.